Who did let the dog out? Yeah, because I got a bone to pick. No, this is not even close to hard stuff. Like, again, I, I know I've said this, um... Before. I don't mean it to be, uh, rude. But gamers are not used to strife, you know? They'll, like, die to a boss the first time they fight the boss and be like, Come on, man! How are you supposed to... You know, like, the... Obviously, it's not everybody is in the same boat here, but, you know... Oh, that's true. If you played Final Fantasy VII, you, then you were very familiar with Strife, uh, Cloud Strife. Um, but, like, in, in Randomizer, if you get a boss that's, like, you know, a little tough, that's just normal, man. That's fine. We beat Seath and Priscilla on the Bell Gargoyle's roof while cursed. While, while perma-cursed. Oh, no shield? I don't think so. This is just another day at the... at the frickin' office, man. Okay, you got me. In the original Old English. Unless it's PvP, I like my games easy. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, especially like as I've gotten older, my and because I do it as like a job, my uh, relationship with gaming has changed, right? Like I don't even remember why I played games when I was a kid. Like I don't, I don't remember what joy I got out of it, or if it was just like trying to you know, stave off boredom or whatever. Then as a teenager and, and like a super young adult, it's like it becomes part of your identity. You're like, oh, I'm the good gamer. I'm top of the, uh, I'm top of the Halo 2 lobbies in my squad. And, you know, I play the games on hard mode and stuff like that. The older I've gotten, like I know, uh, I know how this sounds, but I don't mean it in, that's bad. I don't mean it in like a super like dismissive way. I really, Realize that, you know, like, games are essentially, like... Oh, that was sick. That was sick. He just, he shoved me down. Like, now I've, I've come to realize, like, I, I love games, but games are essentially, they're just like a toy, you know? And they're like, they're like a tool that you use to, you know, for whatever you want. Maybe you use, uh, games to, you know, escape from some stuff in your real life. Who am I to say no? Um, maybe you use games as, like, um, as a surrogate for, uh, you know, a challenge that you're not getting in your real life, so you get that simulated challenge and it feels nice to, to get over that and, and you feel fulfilled in that sense. Um, you could use it as a social thing to, like, hang out with friends who, who live far away, or maybe you just, like, you know, kind of zoning out for a few hours and, uh... You know, you're like, man, I just kind of want to, I want to zone out and play Assassin's Creed Valhalla on easy mode or something like that. Like, you know, I think they're all, they're, they're different things to different people. Let's put it that way. Please murder this guy. Thank you. Now, where the heck is this dog, dude? <laughs> Come on. You know what? I think you're probably right. I think we could get him to jump off. Yeah, and it like it depends on the day too. Like for me, I, I really am one of those people now that like and and other people might have gone through this journey like in reverse. And I think that's fine as well. The dog's dead. Phrasing. Other people might have gone through this uh, journey in reverse, but when I was like a teenager, oftentimes, like, I would just, you know, like, no life a sports game on medium difficulty and just win 82 NHL games in a season, and, like, that was fun for me because I was just killing time. Now, like, as an adult, it's, I, and I'm not saying this for street cred, I promise you that, but, like, 
if a game doesn't offer me at least like some challenge, I kind of uh, I lose interest. It's not. Help me. Pog, heavy pog energy, and then we quit and come back, and and his item will be in there, right? Gone. <laughs> Reduce the atoms. Why are you so strong, dude? Like, it's definitely not like, oh, I don't see the point unless there's a challenge. It's just like, if a game's so easy, like, my brain doesn't... You know, like, you kind of got to trick yourself into falling asleep. You can't be like, I'm going to fall asleep now. You have to, like, trick yourself and be like, I'm going to listen to this audiobook with my eyes closed. That's what gaming is like for me in my leisure time. Is like, if, if something pulls the veil back that I'm just pressing buttons... I'm out. I'm like, what am I pre just pressing buttons for? I could be like doing the dishes now. But if you're if you're the opposite, if you're like, man, I can't wait to just press some buttons. More power to you. So I guess that that leather shield is the only item, huh? There is an item past the waterfall, but don't we need something else to trigger the DLC? I tend to I tend to save that for later. Yeah, like that's even with chess sometimes, like I find myself um Jeez, I guess we're gonna go farm the gargoyles, huh? Or try to. Um even when I'm playing chess sometimes, like, there, there's times where I'm like, oh, I've got, like, a 10-minute break. I'm going to play some chess. Then I lose, like, two um, bullet games in a row, and I'm mad. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not playing chess anymore. Like, I think if you... Well, tonight, at least. I think if you get to the point where, you know, you're, the game is actually having, like, an effect on your mental state, it's a, a good time to uh, re-examine the, the role that it's playing. Uh, in your <laughs> in your life, like especially if you have a very limited amount of a, of leisure time, that, that's why I popped, stopped playing Dota as well. Yeah, I was like, man, why am I, I'm getting like tilted over my like uh, over what's supposed to be like my fun time? Uh, no, thank you. But that's not a chess problem. That's a bullet problem. Bullet is just like it 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 actually is like like medically addictive. <laughs> I'm about there with League right now. I know you're- this is- I'm gonna get heavily foreheaded for this. Just quit. You know? Like... I- I wouldn't say this- you know, if you're like addicted to like a narcotic or something, you know, talk to somebody. I'm not saying you can't also be addicted to games, but if you're just like, you know, if you're just in the habit of playing League, and you're not having fun with it anymore, just like uninstall. Never, never go back. That's what I did with Dota, honestly. And I'm probably like, uh, you know, I'm at a different point in my life now where I could probably, uh, you know, just casually play Dota for fun. But like, I don't know. I just, I don't want to. There's a Bonnie here, dude. I, I saw a comment in chat. It's absolutely true. How does he forget the game every single time? I don't know. I, I don't have an answer for you. I really don't. There's a secret wall next to the large door. Okay, well, I'll give myself a little... Oh, no, 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 I, I do know this one. I actually just forgot that this existed. You're, you're right on that one. This, this is a core bonfire. This one's very important. No sound, huh? I know it, I just forgot. Yeah, like, you forgot your manners. How about that? I will also say this is, like, this is the hard part of the game from a navigational standpoint for me. I, I spend so little time in the forest in the basin that I, like, I don't know what the heck's going on in here, man. No, you weren't being rude, I was just making a joke. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm like, I, I think about, I mean, it, it changes as you get older, for sure. New enemy, dude! Uh, it, it changes as you get older, or at least it did for me. But, like, I think if you ever find yourself like, oh, I've got to get better so I can have fun in this game. There may be some games where that actually, like, is relevant, but, like, unless you're actually trying to become, like, a pro gamer... It might also be a good time to ask yourself the question of, like, you know, is this worth it? What about chess? I, I mean, I was thinking of chess in my head when I came up with the example. If you get better at chess, you will not have more fun. You will have more fun temporarily, for sure, for a bit. But then, like, in every pursuit in life, the, the better you get at chess, you're going to eventually... the the uh, Elo is going to correct. You're going to end up becoming, uh, you know, going up against stronger and stronger opponents. They're not going to hang any pieces anymore, and then you're going to be like, what the heck, man? Yeah, there, there's always a bigger fish, remember? From Star Wars Episode One. <laughs> Actually, you know, I think there's a good example there. Someone said, I, I feel this with TV shows as well. I've said it before, this, this was like a formative media experience for me. I got like nine seasons into the 400 seasons of How I Met Your Mother. I think we were like literally a, a season or half of a season away from the finale. And I just went, eh, I think this show kind of sucks. And I just never watched it ever again. I, I, I mean, I looked up the ending and was like, oh, okay. But I, I did not feel compelled. E even getting 90% of the way through the series, I didn't feel compelled to to finish the, the remaining 10%. Uh, and to be honest, I've never regretted it. Check this out. Mm, okay, he's too strong to be kicked. Yeah, this... Okay, so I, I love the rest of development. Watched uh, the first three seasons many times. Season three is, is not as good as the first two, but it's fine. I turned off the Netflix uh, reboot of Arrested Development like six minutes into the new season. I was like, I think they, they screwed it up. I think they did a bad job. No offense, but... <laughs> Game of Thrones was, was kind of different, because I, I, I always... With Game of Thrones, because they had a definitive ending in mind, I always sort of had some hope until literally, like, the very end that they were going to find a way to at least bring it back to, like, some level of neutrality. But, and then it just, I mean, at some point I was just watching because, like, oh, there's only two hours left in the whole series and now I just got to see what the heck they screw up here. Like, yeah, no, I, I, I thought the first episode of Season 8 is fine. Or is it Season, what's the, what's the last season? Is it Season 8? I thought the first episode was fine. I thought the second episode was was great. And then everything from that point onwards was just uh, embarrassing. Well, okay, let's not go that far. Hold on, where's where's this uh, moonlit butterfly? Isn't this where that ladder is too? Or am I, maybe not. Season 7 was embarrassing. I, I apologize for spoilers here, uh, by the way. But I, I kind of remember where I lost things in Season 7. Which is when... And, and it, it's going to be different for everybody. But is when Jamie Lannister, at the end of that episode with the loot train, Jamie Lannister in his heavy armor, like, sinks into the river... And you're like, yo, first off, pretty sick episode. Secondly, like, what? how the heck is Jamie Lannister going to get out of this one? And then at the start of the next episode, he's just like, <gasps> and he's just like, fine. And I was like, well, okay. Like, you're literally, you're like, the show used to be better than that. That it wouldn't just bait you with like, uh, like a cliffhanger and then be like, just kidding. 
You're like, even if he gets out of the water, he's in such close proximity to Daenerys' army, there's no way he's not gonna be kidnapped. And then, oh my god, like, what is gonna happen with the, when Daenerys and Jaime Lannister meet? All the possible con connotations of what, and then it's just like, ah, he's, he's actually just, he's fine. He's just chilling. What the heck? Can't back it up forever. Search party does that. So I think I had the optimal search party experience, which is one time when I was watching the baby, HBO played a marathon. Well, Crave, which is like kind of Canadian HBO in some ways anyway. Um, played a marathon of all of season one. I watched half of season one, including the finale, and went, this show's good, and then just looked up on Wikipedia what happens after that. And I was like, oh, okay, seems, seems interesting. Season one of Search Party, though, I was having a good time. Okay, um, we have defeated another boss. That's, you love to see it. Well done. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that what happened is a boss spawned there that uh, can't fly, and then they just fell down. It's going pretty well though. I'm trying to think of what, like, what threads we're pulling on right now. So we have centipede demon and iron golem. Hello. That's not bad. Um, we can go through the back of Blight Town and see what's going on in, in Quaylog's boss fight. This seems very doable here. Well, like, honestly, we haven't actually fought a boss yet. <laughs> or at least we haven't we haven't beaten the boss that were uh, that we had to fight. Okay, camp or demon aside, I don't even know where we are, but take me back. Yeah, the bridge beat Manus. I don't really, like, for now, I, there, there, so there's one thing we can do. I'm gonna put this, this is a maybe, a short-term maybe. Um, we could very easily pop souls. Buy Twinkling Titanite, what the heck? Heavily cursed. Um, Thank you for the resin. Uh, buy uh, Twinkling Titanite, which I think is for sale at the Undead Merchant, and then upgrade this hammer. It's gonna, That's going to be a prerequisite to happen at some point regardless. Uh, and I'm trying to think of what else we got going on. The obvious thing would be see who Quaylog is. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. This is our best weapon. Like, the only other... We got Reinforced Club, we got Lightning Spear. This is... this is the best. Please... please stop with the Fortnite song. I... the... the reason... I want you to stop with the Fortnite song is not because I hate it, it's because I love it, but I shouldn't. And, and I can't stop myself, like, from singing it in my head every time I read it. Number one victory royale. Okay, I'm, I'm running it through in my head. How does one get to uh, Blight Town? They go to Firelink Shrine, and then they go to New Londo Ruins. Ten kills on the board right now. Dude, I really think Fortnite is a sweet game. I think right now we're in that period um, where it's it's pre-nostalgia, 
pre-nostalgia is where the max amount of cynicism happens. People weren't there. 2013, 2014. People are like, lol, kids playing Minecraft these days. Minecraft, baby game, kids game. Minecraft. <laughs> I think we will reach a point four or five years down the line where people will start to be like, they'll start to float the idea out there. What if we, what if we played a little Fortnite, haha? <laughs> but in their head, they're like, I really want to play a little Fortnite. And then, there's gonna be a renaissance. I don't understand, I mean, I guess I, no, no, I don't really get it. I guess the thing with Fortnite is like, people don't like Epic, and then they also don't like Battle Royales. And then they also find it, uh, they, they're cynical about it because it's mostly played by kids. At least that's the stereotype. And then they're they're they also don't like it because it has like sellout crossover skins. And building. Well I hate building too, I'll give you that. Alright, so I, I could I could see how that's kind of like at the nexus of um <laughs> many things that people dislike. <laughs> Which is kind of the problem with uh, with Valorant as well. Which is annoying, because anytime you play Valorant, like, people are like, Hey, has anyone considered that, like, you know, the anti-cheat or something? Um... Has anyone considered this? Has anyone co Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we're gonna head up this way. Um... And then, like, with CSGO, and then, uh, gun skins. Oh, you know, there's, a uh, There's $90 gun skins in this game. Okay, yeah, you know? You, you could, you could go to... A Mercedes dealership and pay like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a car. What I do on a daily basis is just not do that, and then I, I don't have a problem with that corporation. When I see someone driving a Mercedes, I don't like knock on their window and go like, "Hey, uh, did you ever consider like just buying a Toyota Corolla? Don't you know there's cheaper cars out there?" There's a chest here? No, don't be a mimic. I, I... <laughs> God, it's so good, dude! The Covenant of Artorias! That's an incredible item! That's actually unbelievable. What the heck? I've had that Covenant I eat. I've had that Covenant item there before. Blessed spot. Excuse me, is that Ornstein? I I saw a little red helmet. I thought I saw Ornstein down there. Like I don't know, man. Why are people like? Yes. Okay. Like I, I let me put it this way. I find the microtransaction stuff. A, a bit of a convenient excuse to hate. I guess that's my take on the subject. Should um, things be marketed to kids? I'm actually thinking about the question rather than just jumping to what appears to be the easy answer. I cannot pick up this item. Goodbye. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, there it is. I mean, I think things can be marketed to kids in some ways. I mean, like... Yeah, not not like you know, it, there there should definitely be like higher standards for it, and then I definitely, of course, things can be marketed to you know like teenagers as well. No, not like Chip said, not ketamine for teens. I'm still waiting for his public apology on that one. But like, how can people be, um, like? anti-microtransactions in Fortnite, but like, oh, like Pokemon cards, Magic the Gathering cards, no problem. It's like, it, it, it's microtransactions, but then like with physical materials involved. Not a mimic, please. 
Yeah, booster packs are gambling. I know I've said this many times. People get very upset every time. Um, it's actually like... Uh, I, I think booster packs are like worse than gambling. Because... At least like at the casino... When you win, you like win money. Not everybody's a fan of that take. And now that Pokemon cards have risen like 700% in the past... Uh, <laughs> in the past couple of years, you know, it's kind of a different story, I guess, but... Oh, I, I, that was in-game. I thought it was so realistic. I thought it was outside. No, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm with you on this one. Like, loot boxes, I think, are substantially worse. Like, loot boxes, you, you get nothing. Which is why I'm always dunking on uh, Genshin Impact. Um, Ornstein's at my window. Let him in. He just wants to talk. If he's, if he's cold, you're cold. If you're cold, he's cold. How does it go? I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't mind the, the Pokemon card stuff, but I also... I feel like I've reconciled my, my cognitive dissonance. I don't really have a problem with booster packs, but I also don't at all have a problem with the way that most games do loot boxes. With the caveat there that I also, you know... In, in my experience so far, don't appear to be predisposed to any kind of, like, gambling compulsion. Uh, liar on him? Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. As, as a result of the gifted subscriptions, you get to choose the next boss. I cannot promise your choice will manifest, but I give you the, the opportunity to choose the next boss. Log? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably not Quaylog. It appears to be the Nameless King. Are you the centipede demon? <laughs> You're one of the four kings? That is a four king, you are not wrong. They also appear to be not moving. Um, I might have, might have to quit and reload, just to get, if he doesn't move on the quit and reload, then that's fine. But I'm not, I'm not just gonna, I'm not just gonna clap him like this. But you know what? It is a good opportunity. I've never really had a chance to see what the kings look like. I always just kind of thought of them as, as trees. I always thought that they were just kind of like bark. Now I'm realizing they got like long flowing robes and they kind of look like, like when Galadriel goes crazy in uh, Fellowship of the Ring. I never even knew, I didn't know they had faces. And not to mention a sick ass goatee. Look at that. Sephiroth hair. Freaking sexy, looking good, King. Freaking sexy boss, dude. I don't know. I, I think I heard Mouth say freaking sexy something. And it's been stuck in my head. I've been saying it too much. It's just kind of a funny comment I thought to make on something. Freaking sexy sandwich, dude. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's quick. Oh, my God. Help. Tank it. We, we can live with that. We can live with that. Go quick. Roll, baby. <laughs> He's not so bad. Like, one king is not bad. Four kings is a tough fight if you don't just do Havel's uh, BS strategy. One king's not, not all that in a bag of potato chips. Kissing the Valorant emote was a major mood. Oh, thank you. That was an original.
This guy is definitely beatable. Yeah, this one. You think this is the one that wants to give you flowers or the one that talks for hours? The heck is that? Or is it the one that only lies or the one that only tells the truth? You gotta keep your distance, then when you know you're safe, you give him one bop. Okay, goodbye. I lose. Good day, sir. I love how he groans, man. It's so good. Uh, look at sexy groan, dude. Alright. Back at it again. What's your take on Monster Hunter? Um, I think Monster Hunter is a very, very great game. I think it's a wonderful game. I will probably never stream it. In my experience, I don't uh, really... Uh, excuse me? Uh, what are you? What do you have? Chunks? Ch he's chunks. He's chunks. He's chunks. Um, because you just, you would like it if you gave it a fair shake. I, I flew to San Francisco to play the last Monster Hunter that came out on 3DS, uh, with Twitch. I, uh, probably played about 40 to 50 hours of Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on, on 3DS, I, I played, jeez, I don't know, probably like 150 to 200 hours would be my guess. Like, I, I, I've given them a fair shake, and I, I mean, I just said I, I like them, you know? Um, but the the flip side of that is, on, on stream, um, you know, at the end of the day, you're just you're kind of fighting the same, like, bosses over and over. I'll just be honest, where I'm like, I, I kind of, like, just don't get... Uh, and, and that doesn't mean that there's no use case for it, but I kind of, like, don't get the streams of it. It, it reminds me of, like, when people stream MMOs I'm always I, I'm just I'm, I'm too like I'm, I'm 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 sucking the main vein of variety like just 24 7 right so the idea of fighting the same boss um, trying trying to farm up you know like one tetrasaur plate or something like that is like help just tank it just tank it that's there's no problem there Haha, ha, Isaac. Ha 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 ha. Okay, how, how about this? Um, I'll play um, Monster Hunter World or Monster Hunter Rise for an hour when it comes out, and if it gets uh, less than seven thousand concurrent viewers, the word Monster Hunter becomes on a permanent blacklist, or the the phrase Monster Hunter is a permanent blacklist in my chat. deal <laughs> it's just one of those games where I'm like it, it feels like this is gonna sound more negative than I mean it to be um, but it's like when when you play it it's like it's never enough if that makes sense like if you play it once what once we did on stream a few times actually a couple of times maybe I feel like um, People were like, oh, well, you know, now that you played it once, like, you're going to play it for, like, 100 hours this week, right? And I'm like, eh, not really. And they're like, well, then you haven't even really experienced the real Monster Hunter. Like, you got to you gotta play a 1,000 hours. You haven't even gotten the G-Rank stuff yet. And I'm like, I don't even, like, I don't even know if I've ever gotten the G-Rank in, in any of the Monster Hunter games I've ever played. I don't know if I've ever seen the final cutscene in any of this stuff. I just enjoy hunting the same, like, turtle a few times, and then I get the full set, and then I'm like, do I want to do this another 75 times? Sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes the answer is no. And people always, I don't, I don't know if they realize, oh, this is bad. Tank it. Tank it and get those twin humanities out. I don't know if they realize, like, the, uh, the flip side of, of the gatekeeping stuff. 
which is that like when people are like oh the real game doesn't even start until you beat the story mode and i'm like okay well maybe i just won't even start the story mode then that seems like an awful lot of investment <laughs> I feel the mechanics of Monster Hunter are incredible, though. Like, if you're talking about mechanics-driven games, that is, like, that's some top-tier stuff. Alright. Four Kings, also known as One King. Not a big problem. Easy money. And I mean, you're gonna make me say it. You're gonna you're gonna make me say it that I think like the analytics would probably be not very good either, especially like you know post release. Always always like to get a homeward bone. Um, hold on, hold on. I'm a good guy now. I I had spider stuff on my head. Wait a minute. This is how you go down the other way. I I went the wrong way here. One sec. Can we hear more about games you won't play? Well, I mean, as long as people keep asking, you know, I don't mind, uh, I don't mind answering. The only time I get annoyed is when, you know, people ask and then, you know, I give an answer and they're like, why is he talking so much about inside baseball? And I'm like, because I get asked uh, a thousand times a day. Hello, Pinwheel. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dude! Bro! Okay, thank you. Pinwheel, I, dude, I have to kill him. I have to kill him. Oh, he moved, he moved. What the? <laughs> the heck's going on, man? No, I don't, I... Can I? I can't sleep because there's. A, I can't go to the bonfire. There's enemies nearby. Okay, that's all you got. Um, I'm stuck. Door stuck. If you join the covenant, you get a free item. Okay. I can't get to sleep. I might have to kill him, man. Or bone out. Gold coin. Incredible. I could I could like quit and rejoin. 